wanted to, uh, I, I love Trello. And so this is a Trello tutorial, um, how to use Trello to organize some of your SEO activities. Uh, so in organizing SEO activities, uh, my biggest problem as a business owner and as an agency owner is, uh, like a lot of you, I just get snow blindness. There's so much out there to keep track of. It's hard to keep it all in the proper place and on the front burner, if you will. <laughs> a company name mentioned their little branding. So what I really love about uh, Trello is it allows you to organize your thoughts and your ideas and your resources, more importantly, the resources that you're going to be using. And so I'm just going to show you a little bit about, I was starting to do this and I thought, you know, I'll, I'll go and turn this into a tutorial. So what I'm doing is I'm doing a little bit of link building and I'm using some different uh, sites and techniques to do uh, link building. One, one thing you can do for link building is commenting. Uh, and most comment blog, blogs you can comment on will allow you to enter your website. Now, just as a little SEO insider tip here, uh, most of these are nofollow links. And what that means is within the code, there's a little toggle for the search engines that say, don't follow this link. Now, in the old days of SEO, that was death. You didn't want nofollow links. You want do follow links because they have more value. Uh, however, Google uh, still values no follow links. So don't let that scare you. What you really want to do is just put a lot of value out there in the, in the space, whatever your niche is and your niche um, is, and then pursue that and keep adding value with a constant stream of links coming into your site. So even at that point, all these valuable sites that are pointing to your site are going to have weight to Google. So go out and find relevant sites that are on the first page of Google that have a blog and go comment on. That's basically the strategy. There's more strategy. There's, there's more nuance to it than that. But in general, you'll start finding success if you just do this consistently. So this is what uh, I'm working on right now. Uh, I'll show you the site. I'm just going to put site list. Uh, now I'm doing the double asterisk here. They have a uh, – you can go into – uh, Trello's tutorials or help section, and it'll show you a whole markup list uh, where you can mark up text. But this will bold it, and I like to bold uh, my list. So I'm going to put um, a blog comment list. Of course, you can change this at any time. It's a simple uh, thing to change it. Um, so this is the first one, and I'm going to go ahead and put the blog that I commented on, but then I'm just going to go into their blog. Uh, when I go back to it. Then I also have a YouTube list that I'll go to my YouTube channel real quick. Like a lot of you, I have 60 tabs open at all times. <laughs> um, let's see, playlist. Okay. Okay, so I wanted to drive links to my business book recommendations page, and I'll show you that in a second. Um, so what I did is I started commenting on some of these links. So So you can see here that this will give me, after we finish this, um, you'll see here that it will give me the bold. You're not going to see that until uh, I finish it and you can go back. So here's this. That gives me that playlist. So now, Bing, I've got this. Now, if you, if you use Trello a lot, you'll see here, this is a really nice way to use it, uh, is to have a due date. So if I want to achieve... Uh, I'll just put a due date of noon Friday and save that. And what that's going to do <clears throat> is it's going to keep sending me reminders. Like a couple of days out, it'll send a reminder. The next day, it'll send a reminder. And then the day of, it's going to say, hey, this expires soon. So it's going to remind me just to keep it in front of me. And that's really helpful. Now, you can get snow blindness again very easily by having tons and tons of tasks that aren't finished up. Personally, I just returned from my honeymoon, so... I have not cleaned this up yet, but I'll show you how this uh, ends up stacking up. But this, there's several things I just love about Trello for these reasons. You can see the link building is down here in the doing section, right? 
So I just click and drag and I can pop it right up to the top. I can pop it right up to the top. Come on, Trello. There you go. Um, and uh, it's got my due date on there. And I can go look at my done stuff. I can look at, I can just take an overview very quickly. Now, I will tell you that this is too many things. So I need to go through here and clean all these up. Um, but the point of this is to show how you can quickly set something up uh, for yourself to, to have it uh, uh, organized in a, in a clean, easy place to remember. You don't have to go chasing through email. You don't have to go through chasing through bookmarks. I used to use bookmarks a lot, but you end up with the same thing as everything else. Look at this. I mean, this is just ridiculous. You end up with tons and tons and tons of bookmarks, tons of subfolders. And now you have to remember where all that was, where Trello is much, for me is a lot more intuitive. Um, I really like using a do to do doing and done format and then having a resources sec section. This is things I can do. Like if I do this link building for a while and then I change to a different strategy or, or something else, or I just decide that commenting is not what I want to do. Well, I can just take this off of the active, put it in resources, um, or I can go all the way and archive it. Uh, I usually don't do that because I like to have what I've done in the past. I can go back here and look at, why did I stop doing that? Okay, I can go back in here and I'll make notes for myself of why I did this. Um, so I hope this helps. Uh, it's, again, it's one of the one of the things I really, many, many of the things I love about Trello. Uh, the, the most amazing thing is that it's free. <laughs> you can get all this value and it's completely free. So hope this helps. Happy marketing. And again, this has been a quick tutorial on how to use Trello to organize your SEO tasks. But of course, you can apply this to just about any task. But for today, we're talking about SEO. Hope it helps. Happy marketing.